Hi people, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to uh, we're going to do a nice Gary Moore sound when he was in his uh, rock 80s heyday, not his uh, blues. So what we're going to be looking for is a nice lead, you know. So we'll go for the SM drive maybe. <laughs> Quite cool. We'll put a bit of presence into that. And then we'll go back. And he definitely wouldn't have used a 212, that's for sure. So let's see what the presets have got to say. Gary definitely would have used a 412. <laughs> Uh, I think Gary would have used something like that and uh, he was always a big believer in the Ibanez tube screamer so we'll slot that in here someplace we'll go there and we'll go to the distortion and we'll hit the green because that says for Gary and we'll go for the full drive <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, a bit ripe, I would say, a bit more tone maybe. <laughs> sounds, that sounds a bit right for Gary. Now what we want to do now is we're going to go for a compressor. So we'll go down here, I'm going to this, and we'll go for the grey. I'm going to go for a full attack. <laughs> yep, that's what he would have probably done. Gary would have probably done that. I mean, he would have done that. And then Gary was big on reverbs as well, of course. So we'll go for a reverb. I would reckon that he probably would have went for an air reverb. And maybe a, like a hall. See what that's like. <laughs> yep. Then. And he would have went for definitely, he definitely would have went for a delay because he was monsters with delays. And he definitely, I would say, he would have went for a long analoid. 